Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank XRP Army News for putting together these moments in time with multiple XRP community members. He DM'd me on Twitter and asked if I could put my two cents in my personal experience amongst other things. And it's truly humbling to be in this moment in history as a witness and an active member of what's unfolding. To be very honest with all of you, I never thought I'd be here at all. The past few years have been extremely rough for me personally. Now, before I get into that, I want to give you some perspective of how I personally think. I would like to define myself as an overall entrepreneur. And in that goal, on that path, I told myself from the beginning that if I was ever employed, I would see it as a failure, as me sacrificing my dreams to be independent to be free. Now that's not to say there's anything wrong with employment. Absolutely not. But for me, I would see it as quitting, giving in. So what I did, I read a lot of books. Robert Kiyosaki specifically has been an extreme influence on the way I think. He always states that entrepreneurs work for free and the money comes in the back end. And there's never been a statement more true that I've seen play out in real time than that. So with that being said, I applied it and it was very difficult for me. Years of struggling and not making money continuing to work hard but the worst part about it was that your friends and family are questioning are you being a bum do you know what you're doing that looks very risky it looks like you're struggling maybe you should stop that nonsense the path of an entrepreneur is one of the hardest ones you could take it looks a little bit like what's on the screen. The support on the left. The congratulations on the right. And the entire path in between is up to you. I say all of that to let you know. That I am probably one of the biggest failures in this entire community. But I've failed upwards by trying time and time and time and time again. I've made so many mistakes in my life. It's not even funny, but I have no regrets at all. When you take a look at people who are in their 90s, looking back on their lives, one of the biggest things they always talk about is wishing they would have done something different, regretting not taking that chance. And if there's one thing you should all know about me, is I will not live my life in my 90s looking back on what could have been. If I do not achieve what I want, it's because I didn't get it, not because I didn't try. Ladies and gentlemen, I got into the crypto space in 2016. I was told about Bitcoin in 2012. But I didn't take it too seriously because of the Silk Road narrative. The black market narrative. By the $13 Bitcoin price in 2012. Relative to the $10,000 Bitcoin price that we have now, that was a mistake. That is a regret. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine how I feel looking back on me being able to take advantage in 2012 of BTC and not doing it. There was going to be no way in hell 
that I was going to miss out again. So in 2016, I bought my first Bitcoin, not knowing at all what I was getting myself into. And what I had gotten myself into was the greatest return on investment asset class on the planet in the entire decade. Ladies and gentlemen, I found out briefly after that there are a lot of altcoins that exist. Another regret of mine is not getting involved in Ether back when it was sub $10. I saw it, but I didn't understand it. Bitcoin was the shiny object distraction. But man, imagine getting that ETH at those sub $10 prices. So I realized I had to put the pedal to the metal and learn about this market. And I figured out very quickly that the old coin market was where I wanted to be. I was exposed to XRP, but I, I heard the narrative that Ripple is working with banks relative to the beautiful self-righteous stance of trying to get rid of banks. I fell for it. Back then, I held a little bit of Ripple, but not a lot. And I was a heavy altcoin investor. Investing in a lot of different altcoins aside from XRP was very beneficial. I got to study a lot of different projects, some of which are still around today and others have proven themselves to be scams. I lost a lot of money in the altcoin rally, not by choosing incorrectly, but by not selling fast enough. I believe in the crypto space so much that I overheld some of my positions that I should have been greedy and sold at. There are at least six cryptos that I own right now that I could have made insane profits on that are now 99% retraced and will never go back up. Those cryptos are a very hard lesson. That was during the time where I needed the money and I didn't get it. And then I had to put the pedal to the metal get creative, figure things out. In the process of figuring things out, you need a read to stimulate the mind. If you don't have ideas from some of the most intelligent people on the planet, you're not educating yourself. You're failing. Ladies and gentlemen, I say all this to say, just do. Don't regret. Make mistakes and you'll fail upwards. You might just get successful by accident. You could never imagine what could happen if you keep watering your creative seeds as they sprout, as they bloom. You'll surprise yourself. This is a very humbling moment. I would like to thank XRP Army News as well as his incredible wife, Carrie, for putting all this together. I'm sure we're going to look back after XRP takes off at these moments in time that you both are putting together. And thank you. You're going to get a very strong thank you for me. And to anyone else paying attention, thank you to all of you. All I ask all of you to do is to stay aggressively average.